What's happening everybody? Trey here, joined as always by my dad Sean, and today reactions to the classics. We got another song battle up in store, and uh, this is one I'm quite looking forward to. Me too. Uh, we got First Aid Kit, a group that we've uh, covered a little bit on the channel. Um, uh, some some great gals making music right now with their track Emmy Lou, and we're going to be looking at the video where they actually perform this in front of Emmy Lou Harris uh, at the Polar Music Prize yeah. in Stockholm. Drove her to tears, Dude, man. Yes. This is back, Trey, when we used to have these gatherings we call award shows and everybody <laughs> could be together. Those were the days. Man, 2020, come on now. And uh, then we're going to be looking uh, at the Highwaymen uh, performing the uh, classic uh, Western tune, Ghost Riders in the Sky. They were performing that at live at the Nassau Coliseum in 1990. So that's going to be fun. I'm just going to say at the jump, uh, we're going to try to upload these with the video you know, on the screen as we're reacting. Uh, it might get uh, blocked, the video, but if that happens, there will be a link down below to where y'all can uh, check out the videos exactly. as we're watching them live as well. Um, but before we get into uh, this first aid kit track, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit that big red subscribe button, and if you'd like to have us do a song battle, man, uh, you shout out to the patrons who help keep this yes. channel running. You can check out our Patreon page down below. All right. And uh, I guess, man, we're going to start with this uh, Emmy Lou uh, song, which is just called Emmy Lou by First Aid Kit. Uh, it was written by First Aid Kit, uh, a Swedish folk duo, if you don't know who they yeah. are. Um, and it was written in tribute to the names of, of course, Emmy Lou Harris, June Carter, Johnny Cash, who we'll see in the next song, yep. and Graham Parsons. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool. And when they asked First Aid about it, they replied that it's about singing with someone you love, even when you might not be able to stay Ooh. with that person. So I didn't know that uh, Emmy Lou and Graham were never officially a couple. Apparently, Harris was waiting to meet Parsons in person to tell him her feelings rather than tell him over uh. the phone. Unfortunately, he passed away before she could. Ooh, that's oh, rough. Man. So, so uh, yeah, I, I kind of kind of like that this is kind of going to be a throwback. I think it to is the the you know country music great. So let's get to, let's get to this. And thanks again to Deep Blue. <laughs> Thank you. Be a trip to have a song named after you. It would be. Performed I'm waiting to try. We were 14 and 16. We uh, discovered the music of Emily Harris and Graham Parsons, and uh, it was uh, quite the musical revelation for us. And we were so inspired that we wrote this song, which is about the the joy and the magic of singing together with someone that you love. And we, uh, we never ever <laughs> thought that we'd play this uh, in front of you, Emily. <laughs> um, it's a it's an incredible honor. Thank you so much for all the inspiration. Pretty cool place. Yeah, man. I'm liking the venue, man.
which of you just sing little dolls sing with me First aid kit, killing it, man, with wow. Emmy Lou. That was a powerful, powerful song. And uh, man, the, the highwaymen got uh, their work in order on this. And it was smart of Deep Blue to want us to watch the visual mm -hmm. of that rather than just listening to the song. At oh, some yeah. Point. Yeah, it was so, so powerful. And they're, those ladies are so talented, man. They really you know, are. Modern music is not dead. You just got to search yeah. for it, man. Just so talented. No, the the harmonies are just so gorgeous, as you know we were mentioning in the reaction, yeah. and uh, that 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 chorus is uh, you know so kind of inviting. Um, it is and just the uh, I'll be your Amy Lou and I'll be your June, and if you'll be my Graham and, and my Johnny, Johnny too, and something just beautiful about that, uh, you know, just kind of uh, harkens you back to just you know innocent love type of thing. Um, just sing, little darling, sing with me. Uh, yeah, man, just a, a gorgeous, gorgeous arrangement. Uh, on top of that, you know, very subtle, just letting the voices kind of take, yeah, take control there. And uh, yeah, man, I just, I really like that. And it was just so cool to see Emmy Lou there, and uh, you know, shedding some tears at the very end. That would, I would too, man. That'd be a trip. With, no, uh, that'd be crazy, man. <laughs> uh, and then it's like, oh, and it's one thing if, you know, some scrubs, like, name a, a song after you, you're like, oh, okay. But when you got First Aid Kit doing it, it's like, all yeah. right, this is, uh, this is special, man. But uh, now we're going to go and uh, switch gears, throw it back to 1990. Uh, we'll get the Highwaymen performing Ghost Riders in the Sky, which Dad, uh, got to be one of the earliest songs we've uh, ever done uh, and, you know not 1990 but, but the, the original. original yeah uh, from, from what 48 so uh <laughs> i don't know man i the highwaymen i'm i'm familiar with i just remember them yeah. you know but uh this is of course it, you know the cowboy movies were big back in the day gene mm -hmm. audrey and the boys so uh the songwriter was a film and television star Stan Jones. Stan Jones, man. I, I don't know who that is. <laughs> Crossover hit on the pop charts in 1949. Didn't ah. know. Uh, didn't know there was that. That we were rocking. There were many, uh, many recordings of this. And, um, and kind of crazy. Members of the Western Writers of America. How do you get on that board? Uh, chose it the greatest Western song of all time. So oh that's goodness. big. And uh, Johnny Cash, who of course is in the Highwaymen, uh, made a recording of this in '79 for his album Silver. Um, which was faithful to the original. And I see Elvis did it. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah so th this has just been covered as we're looking at the Wikipedia yeah, it's page insane. by so many people, for, you know, really in every single uh, decade, man. So that, uh, yeah, we're going to pull the video up for this too. And uh, at the end, see which one's going to come out. Ghost Riders in the Sky by the Highwaymen coming in. Another very awesome song, especially when you get the visual component. Yeah, you know, and to see the legends on the on the stage, the Highwaymen, of course, Johnny Cash and, and Willie mm -hmm. Nelson singing it. And you had Waylon in the background and Chris yeah. Christopherson, a very underrated guy, great songwriter oh, yeah. over there on the well, right. We had about 100 people on and stage. And I was just going <laughs> to say the difference in, you know, first aid kit where there's two of them up yeah. front and a couple others on the side. I mean, these guys just putting on a show. I can't even imagine what it was like uh, back then for them, but... You know, I mean, I love Johnny, so just his oh, voice. Yeah. And then him and Willie have a nice little difference there in the, in the tone of well, their voice. And, and it was cool, too, the yippee yeah, yeah. yeah. And neither one of us are country guys at all, no. but I do appreciate really good country oh, music. yeah, me too. And that, that falls in that category. Oh, yeah. None of this... Uh, we just got to dig really hard none for of this, that really good country yeah, music. Yeah, trash pop country yeah, yeah, yeah. that's, you know... Get out of here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, just, you know, Johnny Cash, always a badass up there. Yeah, man, he is, and, dude. Uh, just... Uh, I, I I I don't want to butcher the man's name, but I think he said what Reggie Love or something yeah, along that. Yeah, I think so. Uh, laying down a, a really uh, slick lead guitar, a little bit bluesy um, as well. And, and I mentioned during it, how would you like to stand there, lay down dude, that guitar while these deep four know. dudes are looking at you? I'd be like, ah, okay, man. And I I, I like the. Um, 
just arrangement. It kind of had a galloping, propulsive way, which, you know, if I was in there, I want to be riding on the horse, yeah. man. I could definitely see this, obviously, in a Western movie context or whatnot. And uh, it's crazy. 1990, that was already 30 years ago. You're telling uh, me it's crazy. <laughs> it's wild, man. But, uh, gosh, two really, really, really strong efforts yeah. here, which will take us now to our winner, Ghost Riders in the Sky by the Highwaymen against Emmy. You're Lou. going first because you always make me. Yeah, go that's first. right. Well, um, with all due respect to the legends of the Highwaymen, I gotta go Emmy Lou on this one. Just um, I, I think having Emmy Lou there and having her shedding tears, it just kind of puts it over the top for me. Gorgeous, gorgeous voices and on harmonizing man. Uh, but any other battle, you know, the Highwaymen are probably gonna take it. But today, First Aid Kit gets my vote. Man, I guess I got to make a decision. It's a I, tough. This is one of the tougher ones we've done, man. I guess I'm going to go with what you said. I'm going to mm. go with first aid kit by about those razor thin of a margin <laughs> as you can get. I might change my mind as, as soon as you hit the stop yeah. button. But uh, what a fantastic battle! What a, a fantastic having us do it visually. Yeah, it was really smart of you, Deep Blue. So really appreciate that. Definitely, man. As always, we want to hear from y'all down in the comments below. Let us know which of these you were digging more. And, uh, you know, I, I really, really enjoyed this one, Deep Blue. So until next time, y'all, thanks for watching. Happy listening, and we will see you.